Welcome to the Rosanna Mod Variety Pod. This is your vessel and host, Rosanna Moduño, and here we go. Good morning, friends. This is Rosanna Moduño. Okay, okay, okay. I know, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Still haven't changed my audience. Same exact audience as always today for episode 193, 193. What do I have today? Look at this. Today is Wednesday Works and we have, we, meaning you and me, have a discussion about Kindle journals or Amazon Kindle journal books. Now, I had discussed this before. This is something that I'm doing now, designing covers for no no content books, which means no content inside the book. Basically, design the cover only, okay? One of the questions that I had is glossy or matte. Seems to be a big deal online, but here's the funny part. I went online and looked for statistics on what books sell most, matte or glossy, and I can't find a number. No, I cannot. So all they have is, um, and I tried different search engines, not just Google, I tried Dogpile, uh, I tried DuckDuckGo, I tried all kinds of different searches, and I couldn't find a statistic on that. So I'm assuming it's just a person. I don't, nobody's ever really done it. I don't know. The The question here is, what's the difference really physically? Do you know what the difference is between a glossy and a matte? When I say matte, it's M-A-T-T-E. Glossy is shiny and matte is not. There you go. Now I went out and bought myself a couple of samples of the books that I made, that I designed on Kindle. So they send them to you. You know, you pay the author's price, which is, let's see, right now I'm selling my journals for $5.99 on Amazon. And I look here for author copies. Let me see. The author's copy is going to be cheaper, of course, than, you know, whatever. So it's like two, it's like two twenty four. dollars So I ordered some that I had glossy and some that I had matte. And immediately I noticed the difference. I like the glossy better. Why? Well, it's simple. I have very oily skin. So when I touch my face and then I touch a piece of paper, sometimes the oil from my face is gross, but it's true, will end up on the paper. So I have to be really careful not to touch my face at all or constantly pat it, you know, dry, especially in Florida where it's humid all the time. And I noticed that I left fingerprints all over my mat books. The fingerprints were really hard to take off. I couldn't clean it, I couldn't wipe it off. So I decided the shiny was way better. Plus it looks better. It just looks nicer. The colors look more vibrant. There is a difference. I know people say that when you have a glossy, the colors come out darker. And when you have a matte, the colors come out lighter. It it is true. So it's just uh, a matter of taste for you, what it is that you like. I have friends that don't like the way glossy feels because they think it's too slippery. I don't know. I think it's easier to clean. Like you just wipe it. If you dirty it, you put fingerprints on it, you just wipe it off and you're good. But anyway, so that's what I did. I went in and I tried to change all of the matte books that I had into glossy and I wasn't sure how to do it. So here's one of your tips. You go into your Kindle. If you have a Kindle account, you go where it says paperback actions, order author copies. And there's like three little dots right there. You hover and you're going to see a list of options. The option that you want is edit print book content. Cause I had tried the book details and that didn't work. The other one is pricing and the other one is printed proofs. So it's got to be that one. So you click on that. I'm doing it now just so I can show you. Not that you could see, but just imagine. And then you just scroll all the way down to where it says to print options. You see the picture of a book there. And then paperback cover finish. Matte or glossy. You click on glossy. Then you click on save and continue. Then you save again and you're done. And you just do that to every book. And then that is the way you do that. Uh, Another thing that I found that I didn't like is the templates of the lines. Okay. Oh boy. The templates that I told you about, episode 180, I talk about no content books and there's a template on there that I, that I 
told you to use, which is for lines. But the lines came out so far apart from each other. I did not like the way they looked. I'll be honest. I, I honestly don't like the way, unless you like to write really big, you don't care, then that's okay. I mean, I personally don't. Now I did show a friend of mine and she was like, oh, they're cool. You know, I like it. That's fine for me. Cause I like, she likes to write big and I, that's fine. Me, I tend to write a little small. So maybe it just depends, you know, but the lines are in there wide. I looked online and I found on YouTube that there's a few people that show you how to do your own template on Canva, which is you just put the template down like you normally would your regular book cover template. And then you put uh, the blank page on top of it. You drag and drop the blank page on top of it. Remember it's all in episode 180. And then to make lines, you have to make it yourself. So you go in and you either pick a line or you pick a header and then just don't write anything in it and use that line. Basically just copy, 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 copy until you make lines all the way down the book page. And then you have to, you know, add the pages. So you have to add like 100 or 120 pages. So you're going to have to keep clicking like 120 times or 100 times for the pages to repeat themselves. And that's how you do it. And that's how I'm going to do my next, you know, my next batch of books. Now I have some more ideas. I haven't really had a chance to do a lot of the journals because I've been doing other projects. So another thing that I want, was going to tell you is they have a lot of options for doing covers, not just the front cover, but the back cover too. I did one where, let me see if I can, I want to, I want to look at it. So I just want to see it. <laughs> I want to see what I got here. Where's the books? Where's my books? Show me the books. Show me the books. Bookshelf. Okay. I got to go to, come on. Here it is. I have one over here, my crazy ideas. And then there's another one called uh, Yo soy Uruguaya, which means I am Uruguayan. I did that one. I put a whole bunch of pictures on there. And what I did was I chose a background on Canva, the free version that has a picture of, you know, like these hands coming in, like the statue in South America, the hands that come in from the sand on the beach. And instead of putting it only on the front cover, I extended it to the front and back cover. So it covered the entire book. That's an option too. You can do that. And I have another one called Queen Latina, which is got fur, like pink fur on the front and it extends to the back. You don't have to do that, but I'm just letting you know that you can, because if you put in the uh, background for your book and you just choose a color, you're going to have the color in the front and the back the same. But if you have a picture like your own picture, your own photograph that you want to download, or you choose something that you see on Canva that you like, you can simply do the whole front and back cover and it'll, it'll show up pretty nice. I like it that way better than just the color. That, that's just my personal preference. I think it's pretty nice. And uh, I'm going to add more book, uh, more journal books for uh, dogs different types of dogs because I used Coco as my model for this one a little cartoon dog that looks just like Coco and I'm going to use her actual face and my actual photography on my next journals because my photography is actually really nice I have to say right she's so humble she is it's true though if you're a photographer and you've got photographs I mean what better gift I think think about that Christmas is coming up you can start doing them now. You can start making, using your photographs like personalized gifts for people. So if you have a picture of your kids, for example, or a picture of your grandkids and you want to put them on a, on a book, then just do a, a journal, put them on there and that's it. I mean, yeah, they're going to be out there for sale. So make your kids models. <laughs> you can use your pets. You can use yourself. Maybe you're a model. Or maybe you can use a picture, you know, flowers or gardening or homes or whatever, and just use that as like your background cover for your covers of your own books and make them gifts for people. So this is a good idea. I like this idea for gifts as well, because uh, there's a lot of journals out there. I've seen a lot of them. I've bought, like I said, I have a lot of journals. I have one right here in front of me. And this one is called, you are 
your only limit. That's all it says. It doesn't say anything else. It's just a simple purple book and I bought it but it's a hardcover and by the way they have hardcovers now in case you didn't know it's beta but it's hardcover and from what I understand the only difference is let me see let me click on this I believe the only the price is going to be higher on these hardcovers it's going to be a lot more it's going to be like I think uh, I believe it's like over $12, $13 or something like that. I'm not, I can't even be sure because I haven't done it. I don't want to do because it was so much more than what I can put in that I can't, uh, it's not going to be feasible. I don't believe that it's going to, you know, sell. It depends on what kind of books you're going to do too. Now, not journal books, not empty I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it if it's over $10 for a journal. So that's an idea for you as well if you want to do Kindle that way. Now you know how to fix it. Now you know how to edit. You know that matte and gloss are totally different and glossy is probably better. If you don't want to get smudges or if you have kids maybe, you might not want to have matte books around. You know, I I have so many on here. You're welcome to look. Just put in my full name, Rosana Moduño, and look at all of the books that I have on Amazon. I don't have that many. I need to put more up there. I'd like to have at least 500 listed. So I don't have less than 50 right now. But like I said, I'm doing other things that I'm going to talk about next week. Next week's show is going to be on working from home. I signed up for a lot of work from home projects, a lot of full-time and part-time things to do and we'll take it from there we'll see what's going on and I'll let you know right now I mean, I'm still I've gotten accepted for a couple of them but I'm still waiting to hear from others so by next week I hope to have a lot more responses and that's another reason why I want to wait until next week so okay until tomorrow uh tomorrow's Thursday relationship conversations I welcome your emails I've been receiving emails and I haven't received anything about relationships, which is kind of weird. I've gotten a lot of business questions. Hmm. Are you guys not wanting to talk to me about relationships or love? You can, you know, I'm open to that. So, but I've gotten a lot of Spanish uh, emails, which I think is pretty cool. So we'll discuss that later. Tomorrow is Thursday. So I will talk to you then. And how do we end the show? What do we say? Thanks for stopping in. Don't forget to like, share, and comment, and I'll talk to you soon. God bless you, and what do we say?